to red turned art. It's time for some more finger knitting. Yes, we do love finger knitting and we love new ideas of what to make from your finger knitting. So today it's all about jack-o'-lanterns. Now be sure to watch right to the end so you can see all the designs again in detail. But in the meantime, let's take a look and see how it's made. So to make your cute little jack-o'-lanterns or pumpkins, you will need some wool. Now I've got orange, green, yellow and green. Um, the reason I'm using the two colours together first is I think it looks really great, but also my wool's quite thin and that would make it thicker. So if you've got thick orange or thick yellow, that's great as well. I've also used a little bit of felt and a little bit of PVA glue and of course scissors to trim and cut. So the first thing you need to do is start your finger knitting. Like I said, my wool is a little bit on the thin side, so having two strands um, is really good and also it gives a really nice sort of um, feel and colour. So I'm going to try and straighten the camera a bit. <laughs> uh, start off. You take your wool and you place it between your thumb and your index finger. Now I've got lots of videos on finger knitting, I will link them up above, so if you want some slower videos, do check those out. And then you take it round the back, round the front, round the back, round the front, and all the way around and repeat and you go twice like I said I do have slower finger knitting videos these are for you this video is just a quick one to show you the basics but if you want to learn it from scratch do check them out here and here now I'm gonna take the bottom piece and pull it over the top I take this just give it a little tug at the back Tighten it all and start again. <laughs> now I haven't counted how many rows I'm doing. It's probably about 12, I think, but basically you need to measure it as you go along. So let me just get on with that and then we'll take another look. Okay, so the way you measure it is you look at your finger knitting, you give it a little curl and you think, does that look like a nice neat circle? I think mine does. So depending on your fingers and your finger knitting, you might want to make it a little bit bigger or a little bit shorter. So now I'm at this point, I'm just gonna cast off. Bring the smallest one over and loop. Next one over again, bring the bottom one over and again, and bring the bottom one over. Give it all a bit, tighten it, and pull it through. Oh, sometimes you get a long loop. <laughs> okay, so you've got your basic finger knitting. Now let's turn it into our little pumpkin. So I'm going to firstly, very quickly, bring them together and tie a little knot. So you bring that one over, behind, and tighten. And then you do that knot again. Okay, so you want to have it as tight and as neat as possible. Don't worry if it's not perfect. It still will look nice. So, <laughs> I've got green paint all over my fingers, I've just realised. Never mind. Been making other things. Now you want to make the little um, green bit for the, the, like, sort of the pumpkin top. All I did was use my fingers, wrapped it around three times. Again, if your fingers are smaller, you might have to just use four fingers. Again, not an exact science, maybe eight times. Cut. Take it off your fingers, keep it close together. So I'm just holding it all together. So you might need to have a little bit of help with this. And take two of the strands. And another strand. And you can tie it on. So this is, this could be a bit fiddly. You might want a little bit of help with this. I think mine's a bit shorter than the other ones, this one, but that's okay. They all look different, don't they? Let's have a look. What do you think? That's okay. Little green. <laughs> the little camera is picking up really badly on that green, isn't it? Okay, the next thing you want to do is think about what your pumpkin face looks like. You can do some drawings. Um, sketch something out. So like you see, I've got this face 
and I've got this face. You can take a look at them again at the end. Um, I've just drawn out a little face like that and I'm going to copy it. So it's sometimes helpful to draw it out first, especially if you're cutting into things like felt. You don't want to waste your felt. There we go. What do you think? Actually, you know what? I don't think I like that mouth. I'm going to try another one. I'm going to do a, a smiling one. See, that's okay to change your mind. Yes, that's really cute. And now you need to simply get your glue and glue it in place. <laughs> There we go, what do you think? Wasn't that a super duper quick and easy pumpkin ornament? I think he's adorable. Now remember, keep watching to the end and you can take another closer look at the other faces and designs. Um, but in the meantime, if you like this video, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, but above all, keep watching and keep making. And of course, we'd love to see you here again soon. Take care, bye. Thank you.